Hi, I will talk about this picture on the left a little bit later, but now I want to remind about our previous two videos that where I explained how gene expression works and if we'll say that this is a piece of DNA and this is a gene on this DNA, um, the control sequences uh, lay um, in the upstream region and to such a control sequences uh, special protein binds um, such proteins can um, such regulatory proteins can with uh, help to promote gene expression or suppress gene expression and in our first experiment we use it uh, restriction enzyme to cut DNA at the upstream region at certain places. This is restriction and um, we got pieces of DNA of different lengths and we mix it as regulatory protein if we know the that protein and we have it in purified form or we can also extract all the proteins from the nucleus and only specific to this unique sequence protein would bind. So both techniques would work. And we got uh, with gel retardation method um, one piece to which uh, protein binds and with our second experiment we use a technique that is uh, footprinting and with the help of uh, DNAs one we were able to degrade uh, all the DNA that was not protected by um, protein and only protein uh, DNA that were inside uh, protein were left. So we define it a region of the DNA uh, within which um, active uh, control sequence exists to which uh, protein binds. But gel retardation and footprinting uh, don't give us information about interaction of DNA and protein. The more precise of these two methods only give us a uh, um, region within which uh, uh, to which uh, protein binds and within this region uh, actually may be a small uh, sequence that is active uh, uh, control sequence. And now I will talk uh, I will talk about uh, today's experiment that will help us to define this uh, region of active site that is uh, protected by um, protein and I will talk about the picture on the left. So if we say this is a piece of DNA and this is bounds and we take um, a protein that bound to it the piece of DNA that we got after our second experiment that was not degraded with DNA is one but if we'll take a look at this picture we can see that uh, this girl only holds to this rope only in a small place 
um, that is um, with a reference to our DNA also can be like a small piece of the DNA actually protected by um, protein. Um, so this is um, in our reference piece of DNA protected by protein and by protein and um, this is can be referenced to small piece of uh, DNA that is really control sequence. What does it mean? That we can change any nucleotides here in this uh, region and protein still would be able to bound to this uh, DNA. But if we'll change any sequence here, any nucleotide, this protein wouldn't be able to bind to this um, sequence anymore. So really only this, uh, like on this picture, only this side and this active side on the DNA that is does matter. So how can we define this site? Um, we can do it with our uh, next experiment. So we would be able to delineate this piece of uh, DNA. So um, first what we do, we take uh, with use of PCR, we make in millions of copies of that uh, region of DNA that was protected by uh, protein and we add radioactive labels to it and our second uh, our today's experiment would be um, modification interf in, in interference assays. That means that we are going to change some uh, nucleotides and those nucleotides that is not important uh, in, for protein binding wouldn't infect protein binding but those uh, nucleotides that we are going to change and that would be important for protein binding would lead that uh, protein wouldn't be able to bind. So um, for our experiment we are going to treat our piece of DNA with dimethyl sulfate and um, dimethyl sulfate would add uh, methyl groups to all guanines but we are going to use only limited quantity of uh, dimethyl sulfate so we expect only one uh, methyl group to be added per um, DNA per one um, DNA that we got after our um, PCR so it can be in any place where guanine happens to be on the uh, DNA fragment and as I said if it's going to be at the place that is important for uh, protein binding such uh, protein wouldn't be able to bind to such uh, um, fragment of DNA. So next we mix uh, our DNA fragments with protein and say protein would bind here, here, so this uh, uh, methylated guanines wouldn't uh, prevent DNA binding and say this one with lays within a control region that would prevent binding of protein. So 
with uh, our next um, experiment we are running the gel retardation so um, on the left we have uh, leather that is prepared uh, different sizes DNA uh, that is used for control and we know that uh, this is for example 100 kilo 100 bases and this is 200 and so on and uh, this is our experimental uh, family and what we do expect here uh, we expect uh, two strips two stripes one would be um, DNA um, fragment that was retarded because it have uh, protein attached to it so the molecular weight would be much larger than um, molecule to which protein doesn't bind so we expect it to be somewhere over here and this is going to be our negative charged side and here is positive and DNA is negatively charged so it's going to travel to this side and molecule that uh, doesn't have protein bind to it we expect it to be somewhere over here so we can access this band from the gel and run our second experiment our second experiment going to be uh, we have to add um, purified and um, purify we have to purify this band and um, we have to treat it with uh, piperidine Piper, this is chemical that cleave um, DNA at the place uh, that was methylated uh, with dimethyl sulfate, so it cleaves and instead of one. Um, DNA fragment we should get two DNA fragment and this time um, this is going to be polyacrylamide gel this gel um, give us a possibility to see the difference between um, molecules that is different by only one nucleotide so each band here on the left uh, represent difference in only one nucleotide like this is can be one nucleotide molecule this is two nucleotides and this is three and so on so uh, we access it this band to which protein didn't bind and we cleave it um, to two pieces and now we have only two bands here one piece is smaller so it's going to travel a large distance and this piece is bigger 
so it's going to be closer to this side and I simplify this uh, presentation just showing like only one going in within active site to which protein wouldn't uh, been able to bind but there can be two or three such um, guanines so um, the pattern here can be different depending on how many uh, methylated guanines we got and we have to repeat the same experiment with other chemicals um, that would methylate uh, adenine and cytosine and uh, thymine and um, experiment would be uh, actually a repetition of what I already showed with guanine and thus we will get exact sequence for the active site of the protein uh, so this is what really matters for protein um, uh, binding and uh, control uh, it's called control sequence to which uh, regula regulatory protein binds that help to promote gene expression or suppress it thank you for your attention that's all for today